second law of motion new okay newton laws of motion that is second part or you can say so that is the mid of the chapter so just uh, let me just allow me a moment which system i'm sharing my screen Uh, Safia, uh, did you get the uh, PDF that I have shared? Yes, I got it. Okay. So is, do you have any doubt till now, Safia? No. Well, that's great. That's great. Okay, Farhan, please switch on your video, Farhan. Yeah, sure. Okay. Farhan, okay, do one thing. Try to purchase a table, study table, small study table, because right now your neck is bended a lot. So maybe your back will be paining after some time if you take the class continuously in this position. Okay. Because it's yes, making a, a lot of stress on your neck. That would be very harmful for you, right? At this point of time. Because your age is very delicate right now. Right? So try to purchase a small study table and put the phone on that and uh, put the copy on that table as well. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, that's great. Okay, so in the last class, we have completed the momentum topic. Now it's time to start the second law of motion, right? So let's let me write it. Newton sahab ka second law of motion. So, New Newton is the one who gave the laws and the whole, like almost half of the world physics is completely following this thing. Right? Apple. Why does Apple fall? <laughs> Single statement, right? And after that, everyone is cursing Newton. Why did he, why did he do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay so now let's uh, start this thing okay so let's basically the second law of mo uh, motion is basically based on the uh, you can say momentum so second law of motion says that the rate of change of momentum the amount of change of momentum is of a body is directly proportional to the force that you have applied on the body suppose that there is a body in the, in the uh, there was some momentum right so when you apply the force, so there will be a change in momentum. It means that there will be a change in velocity. If velocity is changing. It means that momentum is also changing. Right, everyone? Because momentum depends on velocity. Yes, sir. Was Safiya, yes, sir. Farhan, Sara, and yes, sir. Farhan, Atejas. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. yes sir. So the change of momentum is directly proportional to the force applied on the body. So this is the simple law of the, basically of Newton's, right? This is the second law of motion, right? Yes. Okay, so basically in simple words, if somebody says that, what is the actual meaning? How do you explain it? So you will say that, suppose two bodies are there. Let's take it verbally. Suppose two bodies, I'll explain it a little bit. That a body is your, this is a truck, this is your 1000 kg. 1000, no, 2000 kg. Okay, how much is a small car, how much is a normal car? How much is a car, 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 right? So these two bodies are there. Yes, so this one is heavy and this one is yes, light body, right? Lightweight body. So when the same amount of force is applied, F is applied, here is here. When the same amount of force is applied and the same for the same time. Suppose I have two seconds for two force apply ki, bhi do second ke liye force apply. Ki. The thing that will basically determine is basically the this lighter body will have the higher velocity than the heavier body. When you suppose that 
two person are basically pushing a truck. Somehow they move the truck with a very very minor velocity, very less velocity. Okay, but two person are pushing the car with the same amount of force and for the same amount of time. So the car will gain the velocity a lot in comparison to the truck. So V two is greater than V one. So that's what second law of motion. Second law of motion says that. If two bodies are there, one is light one, one is heavy one. And if the same amount of force is applied on the body for the same amount of time, the lighter body will have greater velocity, will attain more velocity than the heavier body. Is this clear? In simple words, that it is. Clear is the second law of motion. If you want to explain it, then you can explain it to someone. In simple words, right everyone? Astitva, Tejas, Safiya, Farhan, yes, Sara. Yes, sir. Okay? Chalo, that's great. Now let's do it. Okay? So let me write down the definition. So second law of motion says that. Just let me. Okay. So the rate of. Of a body. Is my writing readable to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Steady. This directly proportional. The applied for light force students and takes place in the direction. So this is the second law of motion. Is this clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Okay. So let me write down in term, basically in term of so force is directly proportional to a change in momentum. Divided by time. So rate. So whenever the word rate comes now in physics or in maths, it means that it 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 is divided by time. Rate. Rate means with respect to time. Chhiki bacho. Yes sir. Clear. Safiya, Tejas, Asit, Tuva, Farhan, and Sara. Yes sir. Yes. Yes. Chalo, that's that's great. Okay, now there is a very small yes, derivation. Derivation how to derive F is equals to M A because that derivation comes into the exam with the three marker questions. It says that uh, Newton is state Newton's second law of motion and derive its expression for it, or you can say derive the expression in which the force is related to mass and acceleration. This will be the type of question. So the thing that I'm writing on the screen right now will be applicable. You have to write in the exams, right, everyone? Okay. This is only three line calculation, not more than that. Three line calculation. Okay. So now let's understand. So, so in terms mean, so we are assuming that there is a body which is having 
an initial momentum or you can say initial velocity of u. Initial velocity is denoted by u, right? And the final velocity after applying force, the final velocity would be v. Yes or no? After when you apply the force for an amount of time t, the velocity will change, the momentum will change, right, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. So, so now, yes. So now let's write it down. And when you, what does it mean? Change. It means that you are taking the difference of the momentum, final momentum minus initial momentum. Clear? Yes, so sir. let's write it step by step. Consider. So you have to write the, uh, you can say derivation in this manner because derivations are very, uh, you can say are not like uh, the, have different methods or like multiple methods. Derivation is simply a statement, okay, which is confined. So that's why you have to write this in particular manner. Okay. Uh, consider a body of mass. Yeah. Mass. Having an issue because you have to tell now, like, how did you start and how did you uh, achieve the result, right? So, that's why it is in derivation, these statements are very important. You okay? the initial momentum would be m into u, right? Everyone, yes, sir. Sure. Yeah. So, what is that word? Uh, a body of mass, mass m, m, m. m. M means oh. the quantity. Of, basically, we are denoting the variable mass M. Because we oh. do, we are not taking a very specific number. We are taking it for general number. You can say derivation. Check it. Yeah, okay, sir. Okay. The initial. Yeah. The initial momentum. Will be right. So uh, we are yes, assuming sir. that suppose we are assuming suppose a force F acts on the body for amount of time t. For time T and causes the final velocity. Sir, in the second line, uh, mm -hmm. initial movement of this body will be m u m into u velocity oh, is, is u oh, mass is m okay that's the final velocity to become okay sir thank you v v okay so now the final momentum would be m into v okay I mean to which again. So now we are taking the change of momentum of this body. Change of moment, change in momentum means final momentum minus initial momentum. That's how you take the change. Suppose that you are saying that uh, there's a change. You can see, suppose that you are taking change of time, change in time. It means that uh, you are taking observations at seven o'clock. Now the second observation was at 10 o'clock. It means that there is a change of time, a change in time basically of three hours. Yes or no, everyone? That's how you calculate it final minus initial. Yes, 
एम वी माइनस एम यू ठीक है एंड द टाइम टेकन इज टी द टाइम टेकन टू चेंज इज टी ठीक राइट सो वट आई डू इज दैट आई विल टेक दोर्स I will write it as mass minus v minus u divided by t. Can I do this thing, everyone? Yes or no? Yes, sir. You can. Yes, yes, na. Yes, so it means yes, that. It. Yes, देखो, min v minus u by t is a quantity. Can anybody tell me? Huh? Can anybody tell me what does it mean v minus u by t? no one it means that nobody did the revision ha huh? so it represents that no dekho v minus u by t v minus u change in velocity by time its acceleration bachcho change in velocity rate of change of velocity is acceleration maybe say about it now all right safiya said was sara farah all right yes sir yeah So the yes, v minus sir. u by t represents the change in velocity. That is nothing but acceleration. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. With the time. is known as acceleration okay so can i substitute the value of v minus u by t as a right so i'm writing this as f is equals to m but right still there is a thing directly proportional sign is there instead of equal sign equality sign so what i will do is that when i basically remove this sign when i write d force is equals to so when you remove this proportionality sign there is a constant in this equation that is k so the value of this constant is one by the scientific method so it's not the part of the syllabus how did you get it and how is it one but you just have to remember this thing that it is one the si unit is one right to basically make it generalize the scientist have basically made the calculation and all the things so that's the value comes out to be one for this part okay, is this clear yes sir yes, yes. right yes sir so i'm writing it here the value of देखो तीन लाइन कैलकुलेशन है नहीं है फर्स्ट second and third 
right yes sir yeah Yeah, that's great. So that's how you solve it. Yes, and this yes, is okay. a very important. This is a very important derivation, Bacho. This is a very very important. Okay, sir. So can we start? Yeah. Ha. Okay. 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 Ok
Okay, everyone. Thank you so much for waiting. Okay, sir, so F is equals. Sir, I. Oh, I. 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 Please let me know once you are done with it. Okay, sure. So then, चलो ठीक है. Yeah, uh, just one second. Hmm. ठीक है, ओके, ओके, नाउ लेट्स राइट सम प्रॉपर्टीज बेस्ड ऑन दी मास फोर्स फॉर द सेकंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन, राइट? सो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज बेसिक motion relationship between force and axe chicken with you yes sir एक्सेलरेशन प्रोड्यूस्ड and body is okay. let's get the question to the force acting on it and university proposed
to the mass of the body. This is a very important thing. Right. So the the equation. So if I modify this thing, they if I am um, the question is saying acceleration produced in a body. So if I take the if I take the mass in the denominator of force, so F would be equal A would be equals to F by M, yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, A equals to F by M. So the this line is saying the force, the acceleration produced is directly proportional. It means that greater the amount of force, greater will be the acceleration, right? And if and inversely yes. proportional to the mass, it means that suppose that if you are taking two if you are taking देखो एक body two thousand kg की suppose ठीक है एक है आपकी five hundred kg की देखो यहाँ पे आप देखो same amount of force आप लगा रहे हो f force यहाँ लगा रहे हो f force यहाँ लगा रहे हो which one will produce higher acceleration sir the five hundred kg sir the five hundred kg because yes. देखो if you if you substitute the value of m five hundred denominator is small in comparison to two thousand if higher the denominator lower will be the fraction yes or no if you increase the denominator yes, your sir. fraction will decrease automatically right everyone yes sir, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. okay so that's why this is so that's what the this line is saying it is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass right so that's how you is this clear to yes, all sir. of you sara farhan tejas yes, yes, safia and yes, uh, astitva yes sir yes sir sure that's great okay so it is very very important if you double the if you the mass of the body is double the acceleration will be half but force should remain same in both the conditions okay yes sir yes sir yeah. yes sir yes. okay now let's take some now let's understand some basic si units and all the things of the force quantity Because acceleration, we have already studied this thing in motion chapter that is meter per second square. Now let's take it for the force. So force is a vector quantity first of all. Okay. Force is a vector quantity. Force is a vector quantity. An SI unit of force is is Newton. No, no, no. Newton. Yes, Newton. Newton sir ke naam pe rakha gaya hai. Iska naam. Iska SI unit. Okay. Okay, so if I didn't, if I basically define the force, one Newton of force in terms of mass, it means that a Newton one Newton is is that force Which, when, acting in a body is mass one kg produces. acceleration of one meter per second square in it okay is this clear to all of you yes sir. Ajay, sir, devo, force is a vector quantity and if the force comes in negative yes, if suppose that in any of the uh in any of the solution the force coming out uh, is negative it doesn't mean that the quantity is negative it only tells you that the direction of force is opposite to the motion 
right? Yes, sir. Because yes. it is a vector quantity, so it can be positive, negative. Okay, so it means that if the negative yes, sign comes out, it means that it is come, it is opposite to the direction of motion. Is this clear to all of you, Bacho? Bolo. Yes. Sure. That's great. Okay, that's taken. So now let's understand just a second, Bacho. Okay, now let's understand some basically applications of the second law of motion because in the real world, some applications are also there. And after that, we will do the numerical based on the second law of motion. Right. Uh, okay, so basically in the second law of motion, there are some applications in the real world in conceptual questions, you can say. So you must have seen that when a cricketer or a, you can say a, a goalkeeper of football basically stops a moving ball, stops a moving football or a cricket ball. They take the, after catching it, they take in the backward direction. They take the hand in the backward direction. Or you must have done in the real life as well. Whenever you are basically catching something, you just take your hand in the backward direction a little bit to absorb that momentum. Because otherwise, if you do not do that, force. yes, to decrease the force. If you do not do that, if you are not doing that thing, that will, that might hurt your hands. Right? So that's why yes. it is just to decrease the rate of change of momentum. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. Because a ball, a moving ball or a moving body having higher, basically large momentum, in order to reduce its momentum, you have to take your hand in the backward direction. Clear? Yes, it is sir. basically yes, whatever time you are taking to in the back, whatever time you are taking to move your hand in the backward direction, that will reduce the amount of momentum of that ball or a body. Right, and that will prevent injuries. Okay, Safia, yes, Farhan, Sara, Tejas, and Astitva. Yes, sir. clear. Clear to yes, all of you. Yes, yes, sir. Shalom. Okay, so jaldi se hum log likh lete hain applications. Yes, sir. And after that, we will do the numericals. Okay, sir. After this topic, only two topics are left. That is the Newton third law of motion and the conservation of momentum. Right. Okay. So after this topic, I think in the next two classes, this chapter will be done. Okay, sir. So after that, the chapter will end. So we will do the revision. Yes, we will do the revision stages. Okay. okay so let's sir, take the example you, for the, yes, welcome. Catching a cricket ball. So it's not specific to cricket ball. It can be something with having some in initial momentum, right? So it can be a football. It can be a bullet, right? But you cannot catch a bullet. So <laughs> keep this thing in mind. Okay. Catching a cricket ball. Let me write it here. So this is a conceptual question that might come in your exam.
take this one. So let me write it fast. Moving. Let's deploy. Sir, friction is I'm not there in this chapter, right? Which which thing? Sir, friction is not in this no, no, chapter, no. right? No, friction okay. is not the part of this labor stages. Yes, so, sir, it will come in 10th, friction? 12, oh, sorry, 12, uh, 11. 11. Okay, okay, sir. Because a frictional force will be uh, alert is a basically is a complex topic or you can say is a lengthy topic. So that's why it's in, it's not a part of yours. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Only the idea is given like frictional force is applied basically is basically acts uh, opposite to the direction of motion. Okay, so, yes. Sir, so friction is a vector uh, quantity or a scalar quantity? It is friction is a force, so it would be a vector, no? Uh, uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Is increased. So when you take your hand in the backward direction, time taken is increased. So they go time jitna padega yapen to change the momentum. The denominator is increasing. So actual force that will apply it on the hand that can hurt will be decreased okay so that's why it's in, okay that's yes. why the hands are taken backwards okay and small of force is exerted in the hands of the so so the hands do not get
Sir, this question could be asked for five marks or three marks? No, three markers. Three, three markers. This is a three okay, marker sir. explanation. Yeah. Okay. So sir. five markers, that would be two parts, not a single okay. part. Okay, sir. Now let's take the example the, of the seat belts in the car. Yeah. So seat belts similar seat belts are used to prevent the injuries in case the momentum is changed suddenly. So when when the driver applies the brake suddenly, that the momentum is reduced to zero. So when the seat belts are applied, that will basically increase the time the body to move in the forward direction. So that's why the force exerted will be less. There might be some injury, but the injury will not be severe that much if we do not have the seat belt. Right, everyone? In simple words. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, Sir, why is uh, why there is no seat belts in the bus? Seat belts in the bus because it is if you provide the seat belts in the bus, that is a very costly thing. Right. So because bus have I think so 70 to 80 seats. I think so it's minimum if normal bus size bus. So 70 to 80 yeah, seat, yes. uh, seat belts are that much costly now. So that's why. Okay, sir. But okay, that sir. is a point of concern. The government that basically all the companies and the governments should consider this thing but but what we can do is that okay so that's it yes sir but my Haan, school bus has your school bus has so that's that yes, bus sir. is made mine specifically too. mine too sir. yeah so that's why the the school has basically maintained the strict uh, rules for the students so that's why there is a seat belt in your bus as well but in the yes, normal sir. public transport there is no seat belt you must have seen that Yes, Normal sir, public no, transport, no. yeah, yeah, that no, is the thing because the, because for the schools they are charging for it, but for the public transport the charge is very very minor. It's not five rupees or ten rupees in India itself. You must have seen that, right? Yes. In a very short time, okay. So the slightly stretchable seat belts basically worn by the passenger will increase the time, okay? Yes, sir.
to fall forward. Yeah. Yes, sir. One second. Sir. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sir. So what is that and? Yes, just, just this one less 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 stepping okay. stopping yes. force acts on them. Yeah. So that's that's how the injuries are prevented. Okay. Yes. So this is the explanation for this. Is this clear to all of you? Please let me know once. Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. Yes, sir. Sure. Any doubt to any? Ha, they just go. Yes, sir. I was noting it now. You are right. Okay. So yes, no sir, assessment no. will be there, everyone. Okay, so, so no assessment will be there. Okay, so in the next class, when the topic will be completed uh, with the numericals, and this second topic, yes, uh, sorry, second law of motion, the assessment will be active, okay? Uh, okay because sir. right now, numericals are left. So in the next class, inshallah, the motion, uh, this topic would be done and uh, you will be able to attempt this. Okay, sir? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Inshallah, that's okay. it. So that's all for this class, everyone. Is this clear to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shallow, that's great. That's great. Okay, Safia, clear? Yes. Aapko? Yes. Chalo, theek hai. Cheek hai. Okay, Sara, Farhan. Exactly. Yes, sir. Shallow, that's great. As if, okay, Farhan. Sara, are you there in the class? Well, can I leave? Ha, yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes. Okay, yes. sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you. Bye, bye. Take care. Okay, so that's all for this class. Safia and Sara, all you can leave. Excuse sure. me, sir. Yes, Safia. Uh, I don't have uh, conservation of momentum for this whole year. Okay, you don't have. So no need to worry. You can uh, skip that part if you want. Okay. It means Thank that you, only next topic is left. Okay, Sara. Like, only say next topic is left for you, Safia. Third law of yes. motion. Yeah. Okay, no, no worry. Okay. 